So did you get this? Minus 7 plus 5. Did you do Not this? Seven, minus five. Like that? Yeah. Oh, wait, is your 5 no. positive? Oh, you did this. No. Like this? Seven. Ah, yeah. okay. So that's not right. Do you want to see why? Yeah. Okay. We learn more from making mistakes, so it's no big deal. And since this was just new from last time, perfect. I'm glad we tried one. <laughs> so look, when you multiply these together, right, because if I ask you to factor this, mm -hmm. what we're doing is we're trying to break it apart into the two things that multiply together that make it. So if we multiply these together, we have to get back what we started with. Here, x squared plus, ooh, sorry, 7x, right, first two. Mm -hmm. Outside, inside, i stands for inside, and then last, yeah? Mm -hmm. So when I put those two together, do you see? Mm -hmm. And this is a minus. Mm -hmm. So the signs have to be right. Sorry, <laughs> I was drinking some of my water and I made a mess. <laughs> Been one of those kinds of days, huh? So you see, you got to check the signs. So it's always about checking uh, when you check to check. You always check those. You'll guess the first right and the last right. That's not the problem. Okay, today though is a little different. Oh boy, it's gonna be awesome. Awesome. Yes, awesome. It's going to be, like, amazing. I'm excited. Check this out. If we were going to multiply those two things together right there. Um, so here, here's how this would look, work. Like, if we're going to multiply these together, let's use FOIL, right? Mm -hmm. So F stands for first two. That's 2x squared, right? O stands for outside, mas 10x. I is in inside, right? Mm -hmm. And then L stands for last two. That's that's 15. Good? And then you add these two. This was the outside plus the inside, right? Yeah. So we have 2x squared plus 13x plus 15. Okay? We have to factor that. You have to go from here. Right here. That's what I'm going to show you how to do. You ready? It's exciting. I told you it was exciting. It's, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be like a party. Okay. Yep. Because math is lit. Yep. Math is lit. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. The way we do this is we actually make a guess. And then we check it. That's literally what we do. We guess and we check. The method is actually called guess and check. But we're not just making a random guess. We're going to make a guess based on this and this. That's why I wrote it all out. So you see... Like when I see when I see this thing right here, right? I know that this came from the first two things. This came from a number here mm -hmm. times a number there. Mm -hmm. And there's only one way it could be. It has to be 2x times x. That's the only way to get 2x squared. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to guess the last one. We're going to guess what multiplies to 15. And that's where it gets tricky because it could be 3 and 5. It could be 5 and 3, it could be 1 and 15, or 15 and 1. We don't know. That's when we check the OI. Okay? okay? So do you kind of see how we're going to do it? You don't know how yet, but do you see what we're going to do? We're going to guess like this. We're going to say, okay, that's positive. That means these are the same sign. And then that's positive also, so that means these are both plus. So that makes life easy. That's mm -hmm. good. And so then we look and we say, okay, well, if that's 2x, then it has to be, yes. yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Now the part we don't know, and this is why I wish I had a pencil. Oh, I do. You're going to have to do a lot of erasing here because you guess 
doesn't work, you just switch it. So we know this is the answer, but let's say I guessed the other way. Let's say I guessed 5 and 3. That's a good guess because 5 times 3 is 15, right? Mm -hmm. And 2x times x is 2x squared. So we're good. That's a solid guess, but it might not be right. To check, we have to check the oi. We have to check the outside plus the inside. Here, the outside makes 6x. Mm -hmm. The inside makes 5x. Together, that's 11. But we need 13. You see? So that's not right. No big deal. Switch them. That's what you always do. We know this is the answer now because we already had it, but that's exactly how you do it anyway. Mm -hmm. You guess. If it doesn't work, you change it. Check again. And this does work because, of course, 10 and 3 is 13. So that's our answer. So why don't I do one or two and show you how it goes? Because it's not anything, it's hard to take notes on this because it's all in your head. Yeah. This is the notes. You guess the first and the last, and you check the outside plus the inside to see if it equals the middle. So that's it. That's, that's the notes. So watch. Oh, OK, we're going to do, so I'm going to do this one. So I'm going to make it kind of a little ugly. Okay, not not real ugly, just a little ugly. Let's do three x squared mas mm, siete x mas cuatro. Okay. Now, hold on, thirsty. Been a long day. Now, the way we do this, just go ahead and write your parentheses. That has to be three x and x. There's nothing else. So I'm good there. I'm not. Worried about that at all. The thing I don't know, I do know the signs, by the way. They're both positive, so these are both positive. That's how it works. The thing I don't know is if this is a 4, if this is a 1, or if this is a 2. I don't know. Because, like, this could work. Because, mm -hmm. again, what we're doing is we're guessing this one, which is right here and here, right? Mm -hmm. And we're also guessing this one which is right here and here. Yeah. And then we check the check the outside plus the inside. So we check here plus here and see if that gives us 7. This doesn't, right? This gives us 6 and 2. That's 8, not 7. Mm -hmm. So the things that multiply to 4 are 4 and 1 or 2 and 2. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if I switch the 2s. They're still both 2s, right? So no luck. Get rid of the four, or get rid of the two. So now I'm going to try four and one. So I'm going to put the one here and the four there. I'm going to check again. You have to put the, the, the minor number first. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't I'm just guessing. Okay. Yeah, I have, there's no 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 wrong way to guess as long as this number times this number makes that one. Okay, so outside is twelve. Inside is 1, that's 13, that's not what we not. That's we need 7, so that doesn't work. So we don't get frustrated, we just switch it. Put the 4 there and the 1 there. Now we have 3 and 4, that's, that's 7. See, the outside is 3, inside is 4, 7. That's what we need, 7, we're good. Yeah? Do you want to try one? Yeah. Okay. Let's try. Um, hmm. Ooh, we'll try. We'll try another one with just positives. Plus, once uh, x más cinco. Celine, you're just on fire today. First example, got it. 
All right, so try let's try this then. So you're right. This is 2x plus 1 and x plus 5. That's right. That's right, because that's 10 plus 1 is 11. Yeah. Now watch this. What if it was like this? Okay, so I agree. And, and you see how this is a plus right here? Mm -hmm. That means that your factors have to be the same sign. So 2x minus and x minus, and you're right, it's going to be 5 and 1, just like before. So the signs are tricky. So you want to try one with the signs, see how that goes? Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Let's do 7x squared minus... 10x más 3. And I'll tie my shoe so I don't fall down. Whew. A long day for me, too. That's why we make the big bucks, though, isn't it, Celine? Done? Mm -hmm. What did you get? Um, 7x minus 3 and x minus 1. That's right. So that's not too bad, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I would like to try now, same numbers, but I'm going to mess the signs up, okay? So it's still going to be the same, like the, you're right, this is going to be 7x um, minus 3 and x minus 1. That's right. So I'm going to watch what, watch what I'm going to do here, though. Okay. So let's do 7x squared um, hmm, plus 4x minus 3. And then here, watch this. This is where it's going to get tricky. Whenever, so Celine, whenever you see that this number is a negative, you have to slow down. Mm -hmm. So I want to give you a clue. So when you see a negative, you don't put your signs in yet. So 7, X, 3, and 1. We know those are the numbers because like, that's how I made it up. But we don't know where the signs go. So what we do is we check the outside is 7, the inside is 3, and you see we need a plus 4. Mm -hmm. And these can't be the same because this is minus. So this one and this one have to be different. We have to figure out which one is positive. Since this is a plus 4, the 7 has to be plus, right? So the 3 is negative. The 3 is negative. There we go. Whereas if I did this way, so 7x, 3x, 1. Whenever, that's the biggest piece of advice I can give you. When you see that negative, you have to slow down. Wait a minute. You, you have to figure out the numbers. So 7x from the outside, 3x from the inside, and you need 4. You need negative 4. The difference of these is 4. That's good. But the 4 has to be negative, so it's going to be this way. So the 3 is positive, and that's negative. Mm -hmm. And these are different. This is yeah. where it gets tricky. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So you ready to try one? Yeah. With a negative? Yeah. Oh, boy. It's getting scary now. <laughs> Okay, so let's try 5x squared, um, let's do plus 2x minus 3.
while you work on that, I'm going to check if uh, if Ernesto emailed again because he, he was running behind. Okay. Did you get it? Are you stuck? No, I got lost. You got lost? Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can help you out. Okay, so, uh, first thing, that's negative, right? Yeah. That's a, the first thing you look at is the sign right here. Because if it's positive, it's way easy. Er. Sometimes it can still, like we're picking small numbers. When we get bigger numbers, it gets trickier. But it's the same steps. So positive is easy, but if this is negative, you have to slow down. So let's go ahead and take a guess. So we 5x squared, that has to be 5x and x, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, 3 is either 1, 3, mm -hmm. or the other way, right? So let's do let's do one and three. Okay. Now we don't know the sign, but we do know because these are different. When you do the outside and you do the inside, you're subtracting mm -hmm. because this says that they're different. That this one's positive or negative, and this one's the other one. So when you do the outside plus the inside, you're subtracting, and that gives you 14. But you need a two. So no bueno. So let's switch them and see if we can figure out if this works. Okay, so now on the outside we have cinco, tres, that's two, right? But it needs to be a plus two. So the five is plus and the three is minus. There you go. Oh, yeah? Okay. One. You ready to try one of those now? Again? Yeah. Okay. Otro más. Listo. <gasps> Sorry. I'm, I'm, you know, every, have you ever been really tired and then you get kind of like hyper because you're tired? It's me. I'm like all starting to get like... Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's do... Ooh. Hmm. No, we'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep... And the one after this, we're going to start making a little more difficult. Okay, so let's do, um, hmm. there. You got it? Mm -hmm. What'd you get? I think, um, 7x minus 5. X plus uh, 2? No, 1. Oh, yes, 1. Sorry. So let's check if it's right. You ready? Yes. Here the outside is plus 7 and the inside is minus 5. That makes a plus 2. You need it to be negative. So you have to switch them. They're trickier, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yep. Well, let's try one more. Let's see. Ready? No big deal. Let's do... Hmm, let's try that one. You just have to think about it. There's no shortcut. You're doing good. Okay, now watch. Check this out. <sighs> oh, oh boy. So you're right. This one was 3x 8 más x1. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so watch this one now. 3x x is a square. Mm. Hold on. I want to make sure I don't, I don't want to mess it up. más 10x menos 8. So almost the same, but different. Got it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, what'd you get? Uh, 3x plus 4 and x plus 2. Okay, let's find out. Ready? 3x más 4 x minus 2. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so let's see. That's uh, neg this way, this way. That's negative six. Ah, plus four. That is that makes negative two. Uh, I, I put plus two. Oh, plus. Oh, that can't be. You know why? Right, okay, this would make plus eight. That would still make plus 8, and that would make negative 10. When this is negative, that's the trick. These have to be different. Want me to help you? Yeah. Okay, watch. Watch out. We have 3x squared plus 10x minus 8. This one's tricky. Oh, sorry. There you go. This one's tricky because 8 has a lot of factors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so... 3x and x, and it's a negative, so I have to be really careful. Okay, mm. it's it's going to be uh, four and two. It's not going to be the eight. I only know because I made the problem up, mm. and I don't want to waste them. Because like, here, look, it could be this. Yeah, it could be eight, and it could be one, or it could be one and eight, or it could be four and two, or it could be two and four. Mm -hmm. So a lot of different chances, right? But just it's one of those two, I promise. So if I put the f the 2 here and the 4 there, oh, boy, I broke that pencil lead like a pencil lead. I've got to stop doing steroids. Here, 6 and 4, right? Yeah. 6x and 4x, and it's tempting because 6 plus 4 is 10, but they're different. Mm -hmm. So that's 2. So we can switch. That makes 2x, so that's no good. So right, we got to switch them. You see why this is tricky? Mm -hmm. Yep. Now the outside is 12, the inside is 2. That makes ds. That's what we need. So now we just have to be careful of the sign, right? To make a 10 out of these two, this way, right? Mm -hmm. The 12 came from the 3 times the 4. And it needs to be positive, so things like that. Increíble. What do you think? It's tricky. It is very tricky. You have to be you careful. Put in the, the signs in, in the, 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 in the, uh -huh. That's the tricky part. Yeah. The numbers can be tricky, but it's the signs. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try another one. Ready? Let's try 6x squared. Mm, minus... 29x minus, 29. oh yeah, oh yeah, oh you got this Celine, there's a clue right here, look, do you see how 5 times 6 is 30, Oh yeah. it's close to 30, so it's got to, you have to have it set up so the 5 times the 6, let's Yeah? yeah? What'd you got? But. But. I don't know how to put the right. You don't know how to do the signs? Okay. Yeah. So tell me what numbers you found. Um, 6x1, x5. So, 5 and 1. Yeah. Okay, so the outside makes 30 and the inside makes 1, right? Yeah. And the difference is 29. Yeah. And don't forget, the reason we're doing difference is because this says minus which means that the, this number and this have to be different. Yeah, it's minus 30. Uh, it has to be a minus 30 and a plus 1. That's good. So the 30, it comes from 6 times 5. Mm -hmm. We don't want to make the 6 negative. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah? Yeah. Perfecto. 
So you were all upset because I gave you 29 and that made it easy, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's try another one. Um, how about, hmm, oh, okay. Don't get mad. It's not that bad. I promise. <laughs> promise it's not that bad, okay? Um, I'm going to try this one too. It does. I don't think it is. No, you got, you got this. You got to have faith in yourself. No? No? Okay, so let me help you. We have to guess the first and the last, yes? Yes. Okay, so the first is 14. It's 14. What could multiply to 14? It could be 14 and 1, right? Yeah. Or it could be 2 and 7. It could be this. And 1 is only 1. Yeah? So now the outside is 2, the inside is 7, and we need a 5, which is what we have here. So we have to make the 7 negative, yeah? Yeah. So I can't make it negative here, but it's multiplied right here, right? So I make that negative and that positive, and we're done. You look mad. <laughs> like, like you could have got it, huh? You just got frustrated. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, I, I, it's new, and you're learning, and it's tricky. Yeah. I totally get it. Otro más? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, go ahead. Let's do, you know, I'll go ahead and make one up while you copy. <laughs> Let's say, oh. Did you get it? Right. Oh, this is a new one. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was talking. <laughs> no problema.
You got stuck? Yeah. What did you try? What numbers did you try? Let's see if we can help you. So you did five first for sure. Yeah. Okay. And then what did you try for 15? Three and five. So three and five. Mm hmm. Uh, hmm. And it doesn't work, does it? Because that makes 22, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you switch them. Yeah. Okay. And I think I'm being mean to you. Now that makes 15, and that's 8. Mm -hmm. Either. So let's try 15 and 1. Right? Oh. But watch, 15. There's nothing else, right? 3, 5, yeah. 15, 1. There's nothing else, yeah. right? But that's okay. Watch. It won't work either. 5 and 15, that's 10. That doesn't work. 15 and 1. Uh, 75. No. Because <laughs> 5 times 15 is 75. That's not close, right? So you know what that means? Not factorable. Yep. Not factorable. Okay. It's really tempting when you get stuck to say it's not factorable. So you have to make a hundred percent sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because I tried two ways. Yeah, so so three and five, but you also have to try the fifteen and one. So you have to make sure you try everything from both. Yeah. How are you feeling on this? Are you feeling conf confident? Better. Better. Okay, let's see. Um where'd it go? Let me try one. Oh, here, I know what to do. What if we did one like this? Ooh. Ooh zero in the middle. Zero in the middle, and that's a very important clue. Mm -hmm. So let me help you with this one. Celine, so check this out. Because there's a zero in the middle, and it's a minus. You see, this is really five, and this is two. Mm -hmm. Five squared is 25, and mm -hmm. four, two squared is four, right? Mm -hmm. This is something that's called the difference of squares. And it's not like it's its own topic, but if you can recognize that it's a difference of squares, it's easy. And because it can be really tricky if you don't recognize, like, there's kind of a pattern with these. So here's how this one's going to work. It's going to be 5x, oops, and 5x, because that's what makes 25, and it's going to be 2 and 2, and a plus and a minus. Because here's why. Those make 25x squared. These make negative 4. Mm -hmm. Mas dies x, minus dies x, 0. Oh. That's how they work. So there's like a pattern with those all the time. All right. All right. Let's see here. Ooh, okay. I'm going to pick a tricky one out of the book. You can see if you can handle it. I think you can. I think you got this. So this is about as difficult as it's going to get for what we're going to learn right now. They get more difficult, of course, but where did it go? 8x squared plus... 2x minus 3. If you can handle that, perfect.